I'm here in Tirana, Albania, and today I'm headed to the coastal city of Durez. I hear there's a bus that can take me there. I'm gonna try to find it. I've heard that the bus costs two or three dollars. So it's a great deal when you consider that it's about a 40 kilometer bus ride. So let's go as we head to Durez. We've arrived at Skanderbeg Square. Behind me, the statue of Skanderbeg, the Albanian hero. His birth name was George, but he got the title of Skanderbeg. The name Alexander is Skander, and Bay is the title, and they say it all together, Skanderbeg. Just off of Skanderbeg Square, Really behind the Palace of Justice, which is right here, we have all these buses. So we're gonna see if we can find the bus. I asked a guy over there, that's where the main buses are. He says that I gotta go over to the side. Actually, it'd be more directly behind the Opera House, this white bus over here going to Durez. Well, I've arrived at station Terminale. That's the station. I wasn't sure if this was the right stop, but I have a feeling it is looking at all of these buses. And look, here's the bus to Durez over here. <laughs> We've arrived in Durez at the bus plaza, kind of the bus lot. This is where I will be returning to go back to Tirana in a few hours. By the way, the legends are true. The bus, it costs 200 leka, which is $2. The other bus that went from the city center to the terminal stop, that cost 40 leka, 40 cents. All you have to do to ride the bus, make sure you have cash or change, and you jump on, and then they will come around. Basically, a cashier comes around. He'll, he'll sell you a ticket, he'll give you change, and you're on the bus. It's now 2.15. We left at 1.30. As we were driving, it felt like we were always in civilization. We didn't really open up into sprawling fields. Both buses were warm. It's 34 degrees again today which is 93 degrees Fahrenheit. My main objective now that I'm here in Durez is to go to the coast, go to the ocean. I'll get something to eat. And I also hear there's a Roman amphitheater here. So we'll see if we can find some sights to see. After walking for about 15 minutes, I can now see the ocean back here. And this is the Venetian Tower of Durez. I wanted to mention the bus in the city center in Tirana. So I just showed up at that main bus plaza and I just asked some of the drivers there. I said, Durez, bus to Durez. And they just pointed over to the white one. I knew that it was going to the terminal, but I didn't know what that means. It means it's the terminal station or the terminali station. When we got out at that stop, a few meters away was that massive bus parking lot. And then I found the bus to Durez. As I've come upon the Venetian tower, it looks like on the other side of this tower, there was a little bit of a city wall here. So I can kind of imagine this might've been the only thing here for a long time. Obviously now we have all these shops and buildings and hotels and apartments. Maybe this was the fortress kind of overlooking the ocean. I feel like we're supposed to be able to go inside the door over here, but it's locked. Wow, when I was looking at this, I thought my camera was blurry, but <laughs> it's, just, it's just artistic dots right across from the Venetian tower. <laughs> we have this abandoned building. I can kind of smell it. Wow, all the walls have been knocked out. The abandoned building is bigger than it looks. It goes down that way quite a bit. I kind of want to go inside and see if I can get a nice view from one of the upper apartments, but I think I'll stay out. You never know who's in there, even if it is kind of in the city center. This memorial, honors this soldier in his fight against the fascist Italian invasion in 1939. Here's his name. I don't want to disrespect him by mispronouncing this. The Venetian Tower just there and behind us, the ocean. It's a very nice plaza. Just walking through, I've got the ocean in front of me. There's some fountains here that I'm kind of walking through. Another memorial just steps away from the seashore. On the memorial, the double-headed eagle, which you will find on the flag of Albania. There's two heads on that eagle. One faces towards Rome and one faces towards Constantinople because Albania was part of the Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire. Kind of a shame about all the graffiti on there. There's a little bit written all over. It's a nice white surface and people have written on there with a pen or maybe a marker. There's a little bit of spray paint. It wouldn't take much to just clean that up. 
Who did that? Behind us to the south, we have the Mediterranean Sea, only a few hundred miles away. Also to the south is Greece. And across the sea to the west, Italy. Albania is very well positioned here for a lovely climate. It's a nice place to come to the coast, swim in the water, which I might do in just a few minutes. A lot of people in Albania speak Italian. One reason for that is because when they're young, they watch a lot of Italian cartoons. During communist times, Albania was very isolated from the rest of the world, but you could tune in to some Italian radio stations and maybe Italian TV stations. It was illegal though, because there was totalitarian control of all the information. The ground here, it's like I'm walking on wood chips. And then we have all these balls here, which I don't, I don't know what these are. It's not a kiwi fruit. Balls of fiber. It might be a nice place to go rollerblading. Although this ground, it's a little rough. I think it would work. And then over here we have the tiles. I think you could go on these tiles. Well, good. Here's a sandy beach. We still have a little bit of fiber, but at least this is sand and not so much wood chips. The nice sandy beach here in Duras. I'm grateful for that sandy beach, especially when confronted with one that's made out of wood chips. I went swimming for about 15 minutes. The water felt good. It's cool, it's comfortable, it's refreshing. It's not too cool though. It's also pretty shallow right away. It doesn't get too deep, even if you go out quite a ways. I'm at the edge of this pier. I can just jump right in. The water's not too deep here. You can see how nice and clear it is. Over there is the beach, then we have this restaurant, and then on the other side, there's a plaza with all these shops, kind of a boardwalk. And then there's something that we're gonna go check out, go walk on. It's actually a carnival, this first part. There's a little shooting gallery. There's a boxing bag that you can hit to test your might. There's a little go-kart track there. There's a little shop there. You can get yourself some sunglasses, some artwork here on the boardwalk in Duras. Some decent restaurants on the boardwalk here at the end. I saw a pizza place. And then this place here looks like a nice bar and grill. You can get a steak, you can get some sushi, you can get some seafood. It's kind of funny, I saw the nice bar and grill and then I thought, oh yeah, over here, it's a parking garage. I don't think it's a parking garage though. I think they're just remodeling and it'll probably be something nice in a few years. Over there was the beach and I'm standing on this concrete thing. And on the other side, a couple hotels and they've got their beaches. It's actually really nice and it kind of came out of nowhere. When I was walking here, I was surprised. All these people here, all these umbrellas and the lawn chairs. There's also a port here. You can see the ships out in the water. And I can see the cranes over where the port is located. Off in the distance, some houses and buildings going down the coastline. On the steps here, they're stringing up this line and it's gonna be part of an open cinema night. You can come here, sit on the steps. They're gonna put the screen right over here. You can sit on the steps, watch the movie. Each night it'll be a different film. Well, I've came to the beach, I've came to the boardwalk, I've seen the beaches over by the hotels, I went swimming. Looks like a nice place. I'm gonna head back to the bus stop. There should be an amphitheater around here. I'm gonna see if I can find it. It's pretty nice down there by the hotel. And then even the beaches here, it's just 15, 20 minutes walking distance from that bus terminal. Albania is so close to Italy, it gets all the same weather. Italy is just right across the sea here. But I imagine Albania is quite a bit cheaper. So if you want to come to Europe and have a place where you can sit at the resort, go to the beach, hang out for a fraction of the cost, maybe Duras is the place for you. Here I am in Miami. Just kidding. Still Duras. Has a little bit of that same vibe. Probably not going to find these guys in Miami though. Continuing to the amphitheater. I think it's just down this quieter side street, about a three minute walk. Wow, here we are at the Roman Amphitheater here in Duras. The price of admission to come inside and walk on the field where the gladiators fought and to walk through the tunnels where there were probably lions and tigers and bears and gladiators, oh my, cost $3 to get in here. The amphitheater was discovered in 1966. 120 meters long, seating somewhere between 15 to 18,000 people. I'm standing where they had the gladiator fights and the beast fights and other artistic displays to amuse the slave owners who would be in attendance here at the amphitheater in Dura. It was called Dura before it was called Duras. The amphitheater was built in the second century 
It shows the importance of the city of Dura, how important it was on the Adriatic Sea as a port city. Obviously, they didn't unearth this tunnel. But this would be the main entrance where you could have your chariots enter and come out onto the infield. And over here we have a table, you know, just in case. Here. All right, we're good now. It's five o'clock here in Durez. I'm gonna head back to the bus stop, head back to Tirana. Back to the bus station, I just need to find the bus for Tirana. I will look in the windshield, they usually have the destination. It's now 5.24, I've made it onto the bus. I've arrived back in the city center. The bus ride from Jerez to Tirana was only $1.80 this time, it wasn't $2. We left at 5.30, it took about 40 minutes, so we got back around 6.10. Then I jumped on the transit bus at the terminal station and I rode a different bus back into close to my neighborhood. I'm in the Blaku neighborhood. The transit bus from the terminal station or terminali station took about 20 to 30 minutes. I exited the transit bus. It's about a 10, 15 minute walk back to my house. As I'm going past the house of the former communist leader here in the country, Enver Hoxha. He ran the country for about 40 years. And of course, according to communism, each according to his need, he obviously needed a tri-level mansion to get things done. Well, we did it. We made it to Durez, went to the ocean, traveled across Albania, got two tickets across Albania, two tickets across town. I got two bottles of water and one ticket to the Roman amphitheater. And I did it all for $8.45 pretty good I think <laughs> what do you think let me know in the comments below and let me know what you thought of Durez or if you just want to say hello I would love to hear from you I read all the comments so from Tirana Albania thank you so much for watching or as they say here follow me and see you next time